Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got a viewer question in here. The heading on the email is XT100 Good Travel Camera. So we're referring to the new, newly announced Fuji XT100, which as you know from the, the videos I've done, I think it's a pretty amazing offering for the price. Uh, Salman's writing in, Hey Matt, I'm a big follower of your YouTube channel and really enjoy your reviews. I'm from London and mostly an enthusiast photographer, mainly focusing on travel photography and some family events. I currently own a Nikon D7200 with a Sigma 17-50 f2.8. I'm also planning to get the Nikon 50mm f1.8G eventually. I love this kit. However, a recent weekend trip got me thinking, while my kit is great for a weekend, it might be a tad too heavy to carry around all day over the course of a longer trip, say a week or longer. I'm thinking of getting a more compact kit for traveling. The obvious option is to go mirrorless, but I want to keep it relatively budget-friendly, about 600 or so. I love the IQ on my D7200, but would like to get something which gives similar results. I'm intrigued by Fuji's new X-T100. What would you suggest? Any and all suggestions would be great. Thanks, Sal. Well, thanks for your question, Sal. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Fujis. Got the X-T20 right here with the 50 F2 on it. Love this little guy. Um, and the X-T100, I, I say, yeah, I think it's going to be a great option. Uh, some people even thinking that it's better in some ways because they don't, some people don't like, as we recently discussed, the X-Trans sensor. Some people think it has some mosaicing, some artifacting. The um, X-T100 it's just going to have your conventional sensor with a Bayer filter. So, um, yeah, I think it would be a great option for size and weight. 7200 is a great camera, but, I mean, look how small this guy is here. It's, there's no, no getting around the fact this is a lot smaller and lighter. And if you couple it with this lens here, which is the 18-55 uh, to 55 Fuji 2.8-4, to 4, uh, I've said many times, many of you heard me say this, perhaps the nicest kit lens ever made beautiful, smooth um, zoom ring, focus ring, very nice amount of tension, fit and feel of this lens. It's just hard to believe this is a kit lens. Amazing value and performance for the price. This is a stellar lens op optically too. Uh, pair that with the X-T100, great travel setup. Uh, or look at one of the longer zoom ranges. And uh, I'll put, uh, I think, it's, is it the 18 to 135? Let me double check here. Yeah, Fuji has an 18 to 135, F35 to 256. Uh, so that might be a better all-around travel lens, walk-around lens. A little bigger, but it gives you more versatility. So I really like this guy for build quality and for performance. The 18 to 135 is probably, I would, I would guess, getting close to optically. Probably not quite as good because a little bit more zoom range. Although all the Fuji lenses are good. Uh, so you pair that with something like the X-T100 and you got a small light kit. Uh, but let me throw that back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? XT100 for a small light kit, smaller and lighter than the D7200. Comparable image quality? I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be very close, if not equivalent. Um, and what lens would you recommend? Let me know in the comments below. Let's uh, help out our viewer with this question. Always great to hear from you guys and your opinions and your feedback, user experiences. Helps our viewers when they're trying to uh, figure out what to do uh, when they have a question about buying gear or trading or what they're doing. Thanks for your question, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.